Hi, I'm Laura Heritage. This is the first video in a series of videos to show how powerful SOA Software's API management solution is and how easy it is to use. This video, I'm going to focus on the basics of publishing an API into the API management solution. First, you're going to describe the API, we're going to set the API's targets, we're going to configure the proxy, and then we're going to test it. If you'd like to try a free trial of SOA Software's API management solution, you can find that at SOA.com. I have already logged into SOA Software's API management solution. This is going to be the first API I've published into the solution. So to begin, let's hover over the plus sign, click Add New API. Again, the first step is to define or describe the API. So I'll give it a name, give it a version, Enter some tags to help me find the API later when I do searching, such as staging. Next, I set the visibility. The visibility controls who and when somebody can see the API. For example, public allows anybody that comes to the developer portal to see the API. If I check registered users, just register users who log into the developer portal can see the API. If I check pr private, that gives me even more control over groupings of who can see the API. Let's give the API a description and a version description. This is a beta. I'm going to upload an image for the API. This isn't a must, but it's it's fun to show and do. So let's do it. There we go. The second step is to set the targets. The targets is where you define your endpoints, your API's endpoints, and its resources. So I'm going to start by setting my target URL. Uh, it is going to be a sandbox URL. I can specify, add another URL and specify production. The next thing I'm going to do is specify the resources because this is a RESTful API. So I'm going to add get wishes. And I'll add another get. This is going to be get wishes by um, user handle, which is going to be a URI property or parameter. And I'm going to add a post so that I can post a wish. The third step is then to configure the proxy. I'm going to change the URL where the uh, API is going to be located. I want this URL to say v1 the base URL. Um, I'm not going to allow anonymous access and this API does not require approval so I'll say no. The next um, under advanced options I'm going to add some policies. I want to add an application security policy and I also want to add a detail auditing policy. Now I'm done. I've completed configuring and publishing my API. Now I'm going to test the API that I just published to the API management solution. There is a dev console in here to allow you to test the API. So I'm going to select the API and it's going to show me the endpoints and what it would look like. Um, I have security credentials because I have a test app already registered in the system and that's my app ID and secret. I'm going to do get all wishes. There was no parameters, so I'll just click Run It. And I'll see that we can get all the wishes in the system. This now completes the short video of publishing an API into SOA Software's API management solution. This was a very basic example. As the videos continue, 
we will add more interesting features that enterprises encounter as they externalize their APIs, either internally across lines of business boundaries or externally to partners, and then finally that external um, application developer. Stay tuned. And if you'd like a free trial, go to SOA.com.